It is a Friday night and we've got breaking news. A true blockbuster trade in the NHL. Matthew Kachuk has been traded to the Florida Panthers and signs an eight-year deal worth $76 million. Every time you talk to Matthew Kachuk, you ask him about being here in Florida. His face lights up. Well, this, uh, this is tough to take. I mean, you spent a lot of time in Calgary and now here we are in Florida. I mean, this is as good as it gets, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I've been very happy here. Um, I obviously had so many like incredible memories up in Calgary. That's where it all started. Um, it's probably the best place for me at that time, giving me a chance to play in the NHL, giving me a chance to play on the roster. Um, I had so many great memories and so many great people. Tree giving me my first opportunity there. And, um, kind of not looking back for my six years there, but I've been very happy down here. Before we start delving into life in Florida, which is pretty great, let, let's just talk about that. And that is maybe what you learned about your time in Calgary. It began there, your NHL career. You learned a lot, didn't you? I mean, what stands out? Well, the people of Calgary, first and foremost, are unbelievable. I think I didn't know anything about Calgary before I went there. And everybody, I mean, you were working with the team at the time. And uh, it's, now you're a big man in sports sure, now. It's, yeah. You know, crazy times now for all of us, I guess. No, but seriously, like everybody in the organization was so unbelievable. The relationships I've made with people inside and outside of it. For such a young player, this is just ridiculous how successful he is. Like I went in there as an 18-year-old kid who, looking back, knew nothing. Like going in there, obviously I had my dad to help make me not totally oblivious to it, but until you live it each and every day, you have no idea. And coming out, I mean, I'm only 24 years old, but I felt like I just learned so much from each person, and I can't thank them enough. You had that career year, and uh, you didn't go as far as you wanted into the postseason. Game winner, series winner for Connor McDavid. How frustrating was it to have it end the way it did against Edmonton? Very frustrating. You can say you earned it, and you say you played better. At the end of the day, it's all about results. And we didn't get that against Edmonton. We didn't deserve to beat them. They were clearly the better team. I am stunned that it's over in five. Even though I'm not in Calgary now, I learned a lot from that. Um, and I'm obviously down here in a, in a city and a team that felt similar to where our team felt last year. I mean, they've been knocked out by Tampa the last few years. So um, very similar mindsets from myself and my new teammates where uh, we felt we've left a lot out there the last couple of years. And, um, you know, we really want to change that. Matthew Kachuk, always in the fabric of the game. He is their heart and soul, isn't he? Not a guy you love to have on your team. What do you say to that fan base that really did embrace you? And they may even have a few boos for you upon your return, but yeah. what do you say to them? No, I mean, I'll still see what happens, but um, they, they know I left it out there every, every single shift, every game. You know, being out there in the community, I tried to be as involved as I possibly could have been. And um, through that, through the on ice and the off ice, I've met so many great people. and. Um, six just unbelievable years that I'll never forget and um, you know even looking back now that I'm down here you know once in a while something reminds you of your time there um, and just it's nothing but uh, great memories and my, my family and everybody just um, really enjoyed uh, like my time up there and being able to experience We know your brother did. He enjoyed it. Your uh, brother probably left everything out there when yeah. he came to Calgary didn't he? Uh, he, he definitely did. <laughs> He's like, I got to use that playoff experience that I learned up in Calgary right. as a fan. So, uh, yeah, just everybody had a great time. Paul Maurice behind the Panther bench. Likes his team to play an up-tempo style game, an aggressive game. Why do you like playing for Paul Maurice? You've had a number of uh, coaches throughout your young career. Why, why do you like playing for him? Oh, I don't like playing for him. I love playing for him right now. He's been a huge positive for me and like really improving my game early in the season. In front, he's got Kachuk, he scores! Kachuk, Kaching! He's probably the hardest coach on me that really? I've had. Just really trying to improve my game and expects a lot out of me, but wants to make me a better player. Probably the best motivator I've seen too. I've really, really enjoyed my time with him and he's made it fun to come to the rink every day. And I, 82 plus season, you know, it's sometimes it's hard if the team's not playing well, our team's not winning. It's easy to come to the rink when you're winning, but he finds a way to make it enjoyable, and so do the rest of the guys, the trainers. It's just a very positive place to come to work every day, and that's probably the main thing I love about it down here. You walk around now in bare feet, and golf carts, and palm trees. You've gone soft here. Is this, I, is this I what have, we take away? I thought about throwing on a uh, sweater for this, actually. It's a little it's, nippy. Yeah, it's a little nippy, 72 degrees, and cloudy <laughs> today, yeah, partly cloudy. Soft. Um, I, I I love it. My my daily routine is 
is pretty different than, well, it's different than 95% of the NHL. Sure. <laughs> uh, maybe the guys in Tampa um, feel similarly to me, but um, yeah, life's a lot different.